backstory was we we knew about two years ago about like the the truth of Lake Lanier and that there was a city called Oscarville um, underneath the lake. Um, so we this whole process started with another team, but it was like creative differences because we wanted to highlight Oscar Oscarville more. Um, and they wanted to do something different, but I was like, you know, we got to tell like black history, how it once was, because it's a super important story. And I think like a lot of people want it to be told as well. Um, because it was another thriving, like black wall street that was Oscarville before it was like taken away. Oh, oh you're muted. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. Or I was just asking anybody else want to um, kind of uh, say why you guys wanted to go this route with Oscarville instead of just telling this, the scary story of Lake Lanier? Like why, uh, why a horror? Is that what you're asking? Okay. Or it's like, it's like a thriller and a horror combined. And we think it's just, it's better. Sometimes it's better to go like an extraordinary route than just, we could have made a movie that's like just true fully based on the history but mm -hmm. then it would be like a documentary and to be honest like most of the people think documentaries are boring so a lot of people yeah. may not watch that so we kind of thought it would be good to infuse that with horror because that actually there's a big audience for horror and it's just like a better way to cut not I don't want to say a better way but it's a different way to shine light on something that a lot of people still deny like to this day yeah a creative way I would say. yeah a creative way exactly yeah and in your words can you kind of tell us what the urban legend behind Lake Lanier is so the urban legend is essentially you know there was a thriving black community um and then word spread about the beating and raping of a white woman in a town nearby and then the people from that town came into Oscarville and they started to destroy it. Um, and every single night there's there's what's called night riders would come um, into the town to be sure that all 1,100 of the black residents were drove out. Um, so sometimes like at night, it got to the point where they would like wrap around branches and leave it on the doorstep of like black residents who lived there. Yeah. And that was an indication that, you know, you need to leave by nighttime, nighttime or we're going to burn down your house. Yeah. And why do you guys feel like the Lake Lanier movie is so timely now? Ali, you want to go? <laughs> um, well, I mean, video. it's still very relevant because obviously, as we've seen, racism is still an ongoing thing. And right now, I feel like there's a lot of closeted racism, you know, they want to act like they're not, but, you know, they are. Right. right. So this this movie is really going to shed uh, some light on that, you know, um, kind of be a wake up call, as, as you could say. Um, and as you know, I mean, for Scythe, we're talking about Lake Lanier. I mean, for Scythe, that's actually where the KKK was founded, you know was in Forsyth County, which is actually, I'm in, I'm in uh, Johns Creek, not too far from me. So just 20, 25 minute drive. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's and, and that was basically what happened with Oscar Bowl, you know, um, those were, there was the KKK that was doing the, the whitewashing. So, yeah, I mean, I actually did not know that about the KKK. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, I just wanted to yeah. say, tell me about the movie that's why we're here right so have you guys started filming um when is it going to be released what should the audience be looking forward to you know yes so we're actually in pre-pro right now so we're still gearing up to actually begin filming which will begin in like mid-october um our our tentative release date you know with covid and all that we're aiming for october um of this year you meant shooting in early 20th. wait oh yeah yeah okay so so when are you oh, yeah, I'm sorry. filming? No, you're fine. <laughs> start over, start over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, we're going to be filming uh, this year um, in February. Um, so it's going to be mid-February. That's when we're going to begin filming. And we have a tentative release date of the film um, in October of this year as well. Yes. 
Now, I just want to say to to everyone who may be wondering about where can we see it like that we've been getting a lot of that too. Yeah. I just want to say that's going to depend on our distribution options and the company that we go with um, to actually showcase the movie um, in theaters or on streaming platforms, um, et cetera. It's so exciting. And you know, everybody really wants to be like extras and movies. Are, are there <laughs> going to be any opportunities for um, Atlantans to get in on this? Absolutely. Yeah, we're going yes. to be looking for extras. We're going to be looking for plenty of extras. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I would say to everyone that may be watching, be sure to like our Lanier Facebook page. Yes. Um, it's facebook.com slash Lanier Movie Official. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. if you just search it on Facebook, you can type in Lanier Movie and the page will come up and you can follow the Instagram at Lanier Movie. That's where we're going to be really like blasting when we need extras or- Yeah, and updates about right. the production and everything. Absolutely. And just some extra content too. <laughs> yep. 